Let's see search and indexing now. So let's suppose you have a lot of content items, like well, a larger blog or a news site, or even for a portfolio or company website if you have a lot of pages. And of course, you want your users to be able to access information quickly, so you want to add some search functionality. Now, Orchid has built-in features for that, so let's see how it works. Again, this site was set up with the blog recipe, so everything is pre-configured, you just have to check it out, but you can configure and set it up in the same way without the blog recipe too. First of all, we have to think about features again. Specifically, there is a feature called Lucene, and Lucene is an indexing library um, this is specifically using lucene.net, which is a .NET library that indexes textual content. This feature uses lucene.net and uh, exposes its features to the rest of the system. As you can see, the lucene feature is already enabled. And we also need the indexing feature. Uh, the indexing feature is the generic baseline feature that deals with indexing and then Lucene is a concrete implementation of that. And furthermore, the Lucene feature is also a concrete implementation of, of a specific search and search UI that uses the created Lucene indices behind the scenes. And once we have that enabled, this uh, search uh, menu will appear here. And just as with design, we have a couple of settings. These are pretty much good on default. Uh, two concepts to know about here are indices or indexes, uh, if you want to call it like that, and uh, search fields. Hallucin and uh, pretty much most of the indexing services and implementations work is that they create indices. An index contains a bunch of content that was indexed previously. You can think of it as a database. It is actually a sort of a NoSQL database and Orchard utilizes it as, as such too. So uh, such indices are created and these indices are created by actually going through all the content items and other content in the system and asking the content items, what do you want to index? And how the content items tell that is by specifying search fields or exposing search fields uh, or rather index content which will then be searched as uh, a search field. And that is specified here. And now remember that under, under the blog post content type, there was a section that we didn't talk about, this full text section. Now this full text section is about, well, full text search, uh, search and indexing. The, the default configuration is mostly suitable here as well. Uh, what's configured here is that the, the display text, which is a generally, generalization of the title, that will always be indexed. So if what you are searching for is is in the title of your content item, then it, will search, then it will show up in the search results. And body parts, well, there are, there are two content parts that have body in the name. Uh, if you want to simplify things, this just means that their content will be indexed too. So uh, in, the, in the case of a blog post, the title will be indexed and markdown body will be indexed which is good because that's where the bulk of the content is. We don't necessarily want to index the subtitle because that content is already included either in the, either in the title or in the body. But we could also index it and by specifying uh, this custom full text, custom full text, we could actually uh, access, uh, for example, fields and Again, this is also liquid. Remember when it's about uh, dynamic substitutions in orchards or, or templating in general, then it's liquid. It's, it's done by liquid, which is a first cut citizen in orchard. 
and here is right away uh, an example for that, which is actually accessing uh, accessing uh, uh, the the content of a text field called summary on the content type article. So same thing could be done for the blog post, uh, but we are not that interested in in the subtitle. So the defaults here are okay. And if we go back to to the search settings here, uh, we'll also see uh, some uh, menu items specifically about indexing. And now here are the search indices. So here we have the, the index that was created by default called search, which is a good default. And we can do a lot of, a lot of things with it. Um, common administrative task is that, well, hopefully not common, but still a very useful one is that when uh, there is some issue with the index, uh, something doesn't work as it should, uh, then you just click rebuild. If everything goes right, you won't really need to do that because uh, in the beginning you create the search index, at the time it is empty, but afterwards the indexing service will index all the existing content items and when you create new content items, they will be indexed too. So everything happens behind the scenes automatically and you don't have to care about it. Uh, yeah, you can also, of course, delete an index and edit its configuration. Now, um, if you are familiar with Lucene or, or indexing in general, uh, you will know that there are different analyzers. Just a standard analyzer is built in, so not much to do here, but you can also roll out and integrate your own analyzer. You can also configure uh, which, uh, uh, which uh, content items of which culture to index. We haven't talked about localization too much yet. We will see uh, why this is interesting a bit later. And uh, you can specify right away here which content types to index in this specific index. So you could, you could create um, a search, for example, a search box just for blog posts. And in the index corresponding to that search box, you will only index blog posts. And alternatively, you can just create a, a search index that indexes everything. And as you can see, well, almost everything is uh, is included here, which is probably a good default again. I usually recommend against checking index uh, last version here. That's usually not something you want. Uh, remember that we talked about versioning and drafts. Now, if you want to also, ver also index draft versions, then this will index them too. The latest version just means that the latest version of that content item, whatever it is, if the latest version is published, good. If it's a draft, still good. That will be indexed. Now, uh, usually for, for a search feature on the front end, you don't want this. And there is also this query feature, which is pretty much the same as this round loosing query here. Again, a search index is a database. And well, what you can do with the, data with the database, you can also query it. And Orchard allows you to run arbitrary loosing queries on loosing indexes like this one here. It's, it's a bit complex topic uh, and it's not always interesting to, to know about. Uh, but here under this, uh, this documentation page, uh, first of all, you see a lot of information on how to implement uh, indexing and search for a website. And secondly, under, under the Lucene features uh, documentation, you can see how it works. And you know, Lucene is, uh, is not Orchard uh, specific. So if you, if you uh, uh, read something about Lucene, that will apply here too. 
And you can run queries here right away, but you can also save queries and then use the results of the queries, for example, to list content items on the front end. And that's actually what happens with the block recipe. For, uh, for listing um, the recent blog posts, we have this recent blog post uh, losing query here. And well, there is this query, which as you can see is very different uh, than an SQL query, since Lucene indices are no SQL databases. Uh, but nevertheless, you can write such queries and, and uh, display the results on the front end. But uh, let's actually see how all of this can be used for search because, well, uh, this, this query, the results of this query is actually displayed uh, displayed on the front end. So here, uh, that comes from there. But let's also try some search. And well, this is not actually that apparent, but under search, you can access the search UI. And well, it's just a search box. So if we search for something like this, then we will retrieve or the uh, search hits. Well, there is just a single blog post in the system currently, so that's not a huge miracle, but rest assured that if you have multiple content items, it will work in the same way too. So, uh, that's about search.